First off, I just want to let you know that I live in Canada and this happened in Canada. Our laws may be quite a bit different than what you're used to in the United States. Many, many of our laws are quite similar, but there are a lot of laws that do have slight differences. This includes the fact that we don't have a constitution and we don't have things like your uh, amendments, like the Fifth Amendment and like pleading the Fifth, things like that. We have similar things that like the right to remain silent and that, but slight differences. Anyways, I also want to let you all know that I'm not like a police watcher or an auditor of any kind. I simply, from time to time, if I have an encounter with police, I try to record it. Um, just to protect myself, you know, and I also find that when uh, police see that you have a camera on them, they tend to behave quite a bit differently in a good way. It's sad, but it's true. When, they, when you don't have a, a camera on them, a lot of times they'll use that to either demean you, use tactics that uh, aren't quite kosher, if you know what I mean. And this has happened to me, especially in my younger days. Um, I think they like to try to intim intimidate younger guys that might not know too much about what their what their rights actually are. And uh, they kind of feel like they can try, try to push them around, give them a hard time. Uh, so anyways, uh, I'll give you a brief introduction to what happened because the video doesn't start up right away at the beginning of the interaction. It took me a while to start recording. So um, basically, me and my friend, we drove up to the bank to withdraw some money from the ATM, ATM machines inside. Uh, we got out of the car, went inside, and while we're in there, we noticed that there was two police officers standing outside the doors, uh, obviously waiting for us to come out so that they could have some sort of confrontation with us. Me and my friend, we uh, we talked about it. We were both like, I don't have any warrants. Do you have warrants? No, I don't have any warrants. All right. Uh, we didn't do anything illegal today, so, and we were driving fine, so uh, yeah, there's no problem here. Let's go out and see what they want. So we went out there. Um, immediately, we were uh, kind of separated. The one cop talked to my friend, the other cop talked to me, which is a standard procedure, right? Basically, the cop that was talking to me explained to me that a few months ago in September, right now, is it, it's December right now. So back in September, uh, there was a, a video uh, surveillance footage of my vehicle driving up into the shopper's drug mart parking lot and a female passenger getting out of my car and going into Shoppers Drug Mart, proceeding to do some shoplifting, and then proceeding to leave the Shoppers Drug Mart, get back in the passenger seat of my car, and then driving off. They also mentioned that apparently from the surveillance footage, you could see me as the driver in the vehicle, although they could have just been making that up. I'm not sure if that was actually something that they could actually confirm with the video. Now, let's cut back to today. Um, three months later, they see me driving with another female in the passenger seat of my car. They put two and two together and say, oh, this could potentially be the same female still in the passenger seat of his car. We're going to have to detain her and figure this out and uh, get her ID and uh, see if this is not the same girl or not. First officer asked me for my ID as well, and I told him no. The cop didn't really push it on me that I didn't give him my ID. Right after that, I, as fast as I could, grabbed my phone and started recording. Doug 1410? Doug in? Doug in? Okay. And what's your name and badge number? Doug. Thank you very much. Yeah, you there was a video in September where uh, your vehicle was involved in uh theft. Okay. Somebody got into your vehicle. Is that pretty common for you, Dave? Do you often have people shoplifting and getting into your car? I'm sorry, I don't ask I don't answer any questions. No, no disrespect or anything. I just don't answer questions. And I'm not videotaping to be disrespectful, it's just to protect myself. Fine. Yeah, thank you. What's that? No, I know, I know you didn't, I know, I know you didn't fucking do anything. I don't know who they're talking about, but. Does it ring any bells? No. No. September was a pretty long time ago, so. It's a couple months ago. Yeah. Lots of shoplifting could have, could have happened between now and then. <laughs> you ready to go, Michelle? Okay. Yeah, we just got around Michelle. You guys are good to go? Thank you. What did the person look like? 
for me. What did the person look like? I don't know. I'm not the best skating officer. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what does it matter if you get her ID? I mean, how's that going to help you? look at the video, and then if it's her... So you haven't done that yet? Like I said, I'm the best skating officer. So you haven't done that yet? Like, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> wow. You guys are uh, not on the ball today. <laughs> not on the ball. I mean, just like the, you can't arrest, you can't detain us or anything because you don't, you don't know who the person is. You don't know what she looks like. You don't even have an, like, you guys are funny. All right. You're going backwards about it, man. Yeah, sometimes you got to do that. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't? No. I guess I must have missed that class yeah <laughs> did you take that class i take it I'm ready. sorry i don't answer questions what else do you have to get off you it be six feet away from it, oh, I my ID. you get your id when you're free to go i so i'm being detained you're is what you're saying me? yeah and you don't even know who what, what for That's cool. yeah. you don't have any uh oh, you don't have any uh you don't have any any uh you don't know what the person looks like so how yeah. it could be any girl. We're gonna call the officer. Don't so worry. it could have been. Are you gonna uh, detain anybody that's around me? Dave, Dave. So Somebody, you got in your car. car. This car, car right here with your license plate. Yes. That you drove away with. Four months ago. Okay. And you don't know what the person looked like. How many months ago, September? You don't know what the person looked how like. How many months ago, September? You can do the math. You don't know what the person looked like. I was asking you. You don't know what the person looked like. Okay. We know it was in your car. Could arrest you for Dude, right you, you give your car can you? I bet if you could, then you would. So hey, why don't you? you? Give your car out a no. I don't answer questions, dude. Okay. Then I don't need to answer your question. Yeah. Actually, you do. You're a professional. Okay. I agree. That's pretty good. So act like it. I don't answer questions. I can. I can. I can tell you to go fuck yourself. You can't tell me to go fuck myself. You're a professional. So act like it. So act like it. So act like it. Michelle Fleming, 740, 728. Oh my goodness. Lavender City, 10 years ago. You don't have to say anything, Michelle. You have to say, Lavender City, 10 years ago. Yeah. Another factor under Michelle. Oh my goodness. Michelle. 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 So, what does this person look like? Did it look like her? So, you've had so many occurrences with us that they got to run your name again. On a broader scope to see what else you're, you're missing. Here. So they got everything off and of then you're good to go. So they got everything okay. off her ID that you need, right? No, not yet. Yeah, yeah. No? So, so what do you, what else do you need to tell them? So they have to run her again to make sure she's not wanted. Right, but they got everything off of her ID that they need, right? No. Nope. No? What else do they need? Because if she's wanted right So why now, don't you tell them what else they need? So if she's wanted right now, right? they would be arresting her. Okay, so why don't you tell them what they need off the ID? They already know. They already know, so why don't you give her ID, her ID back? Because they haven't run her yet. <laughs> Dude, you don't make any sense. Okay. Okay, listen. Does she, do they need anything else off her ID? Dave, you're free to go. Do, you need, do they need anything else off her ID? I can't leave because I have to take her somewhere. She's my passenger. That's a bit more exciting than this. Well, this is actually exciting, actually. This is? Yeah. So what else do they need off her ID? Yeah. What else do they need off her ID? Do they need something else off her ID? Well, Sir, do they need a, something else off her ID? Why don't you tell them? Uh, Dave Stelnack. I won't be answering any more of your questions. I'm here for Michelle right now, okay? Thank you for your time. I'm here for Michelle. So we're all on the same page. I can ask you as many questions as I want. And I don't need to answer them. Okay. Well, what else do you need off her ID? You said that they still need something off her ID, right? What else do they need? Are you not answering because you know it was a fucking stupid thing to say? It's probably right, right? Now you just, now you just, being yeah. silent because you know that you're a stupid idiot that made made a stupid comment. Should have just said that you're not giving your ID back because. Uh, you don't want her taking off, okay? Listen, you know it wasn't her. 
You don't want you don't know what the fucking person looks like. You don't have an idea of the person. Thank you, Alright, see you later, you fucking idiot. Stay the fuck out of my life, you fucking jackass. See you, fuck off, you piece of shit. Right, fucking idiot. Leave me the fuck alone, assholes. Alright, so there you have it. Um, one thing that I wanted to mention is that uh, these guys basically are saying that the, the reason that they're able to basically um, stop and detain and ID any person that I'm with is because they don't know who this um, shoplifter was. And uh, yeah, so they're saying that it, it could be, a, it's because I had a female in my car. Well, I mean, they don't know who this person was that was shoplifting. So it could have been a transsexual male that was cross-dressing at the time. It could have been a non-binary, um, non-gender specific person that was shoplifting. I mean, um, they don't know who this person was, so they don't know their gender until they know who this person is. They can't say. So really, I could have anybody in my car just another human in my car as a passenger and that supposedly gives them all the power that they need to be able to pull me over detain that person and I ID them now I thought that we lived in a, a country where uh, we weren't allowed to stop and card people just at random and uh, basically if, if I'm gonna be able to get pulled over at any time and uh, and question like that uh, if, if that happens and I end up getting a charge uh, be, during a, a pullover session like that, um, I think I'm going to be able to fight that in court pretty easily because I'll just be able to say, well, it was a wrongful pullover. Like, you pulled me over for, for no reason. You have to have a valid reason to pull pull me over. That's not a valid reason. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, if you, want, if you want to contact these guys and uh, ask them for yourself, uh, the city that I live in is Kitchener or uh, Waterloo. They're two cities that are really close. Um, it's uh, the Waterloo Regional Police Department. Waterloo Regional Police. Um, there's a Kitchener Police Station, which is where these police officers are from. And there's the Waterloo uh, Police Station as well. So you guys can look them up and give them a call if you want. I also wanted to mention that uh, you guys stay, f stay safe and uh, stay alert when you're dealing with police. Um, yeah, be very careful what answers you you give to them when they're asking you questions it's very easy to uh, let them trip you up and catch you in a lie or something or get get they can get you to say something that uh, um, allows them to arrest you on the spot um, like simply admitting that oh yeah well I, I, just, I didn't put I didn't punch her I just I just I just shoved her or I just I just nudged into her by accident well there you go you're going to jail for assault if they feel like it you know so just uh, my my key thing is I don't answer questions. Any any question they ask me, I don't answer questions. Sometimes you have to uh, give them ID or identify yourself. Go ahead and do that. They'll run you. See if you have any warrants. If you don't have any warrants, you're good to go. You just keep on saying you don't answer questions. It's very easy to make them look stupid that way. Um, and uh, also, if these officers want to uh, reach out to me, they're very welcome to do that and uh, I'd love to see this footage and uh, maybe help them identify this shoplifter because I don't recall this happening and uh, very well could have been that somebody else was driving my car that day and uh, and uh, yeah they used the, the opportunity of using my car to go out boosting and uh, yeah I might know this person and be able to point them in the right direction but uh, yeah we'll see I love hearing your guys' comments, the, the negative and the positive. Sometimes the negative are even more entertaining to me than the positive. So everybody, please leave, leave a comment. Uh, I love to hear it. Uh, I, love how, how, I love how polarizing these videos can be. Um, and subscribe if you like this, and uh, that way I can get some more videos like this out to you. Okay, have a good one, guys.